latest twist in jukeboxes. Pittsburgh is an old name in jukeboxes, but today the company is all new, with new owners and a new product that they think is going to revolutionize the jukebox industry. Like magic, you put a coin in and music poured forth. Music that brightened the darkest tavern, put romance into the most commonplace diner. Of all the jukeboxes that filled the highways and byways of America, one name that stood out was Seabird. At one time, it had 80% of the jukebox market. It is a name that is well known and people still, people don't realize that there hasn't been a Seabird for the last couple of years. They think it's still a big company and that it's uh, been around. Where Seaberg has been is out of business. But in the spring of 1984, Ed Blankenbeckler, a former Seaberg vice president, and Nick Hindman, an accountant, formed a new Seaberg with new ideas, new projects, and they hope a bright future. The way I like to look at it is, is Seaberg is an is is old master in a brand new frame. The future for Seaberg lies here in the compact disc. Seaberg plans to be the first company to produce a jukebox that uses compact discs, those little glimmering wheels that may one day make the record obsolete. Advantages? Well, terrific sound, plus hot songs can be available much more quickly. Operators who buy the compact disc machines can program any song off a disc, and they won't lose quarters waiting for a 45 single to be released. This is what the operators, the entrepreneurs, uh, and the people have been looking for. Something to take the place of a, of, of a record that has really been dead for 10 years and they haven't buried it yet. The compact disc jukebox is still in the design stages. For demonstration purposes, Seaberg uses this machine used in Japanese night spots. Seaberg is working with Sony to design a player. The body may resemble one of these paper models. With the compact disc technology, we're going to go right along with that and revitalize the coin-operated phonograph industry to where it was possibly uh, after World War II. It was after World War II that the number of jukeboxes swelled to over half a million. But with urban renewal and interstate highways, the jukeboxes began to disappear with the taverns and diners that housed them. By the 70s, there were only 300,000 boxes on location. Seaberg, meanwhile, was having problems of its own. Troubled management, high costs. Stern Electronics was the last to try to make a go of the company. It tried and failed in 1982 with a video jukebox, the last Seaberg jukebox. Until now, new owners Blankenbeckler and Hinman are confident they've got the touch. If Seaberg's future is the compact disc, the present is the Prelude 160, a 45 RPM player currently in production at the plant in Addison. The new plant is designed with cost efficiency in mind. The Seaberg of old had 2,000 employees. There are now about 20, operating what basically is a final assembly point. But many of the new Seaberg employees are old Seaberg employees. Wally Klein joined the company in 1940. I'm happy to be part of something new that's, that will be coming up on, on the Seaberg box. And, and I wanted, wanted to be a part of it, get it back on the road again. Of course, it'll be expensive to trans, you know, switch over, but I think uh, it'll be worth it a lot. I, eventually it will. So now the new Seaberg is looking for a revival of the company and the industry. At a trade show at the Holiday Inn Mart Plaza, Seaberg proudly showed off its prelude and talked of a future built on shimmering silver discs. And it's read by a laser, so there's no stylus contact, there's nothing to wear, no deterioration of the record. Uh, why give Seaberg another chance? For the simple reason that Seaberg was the innovator. They introduced the first 100 selection phonograph, they introduced the first high fidelity, they introduced the first stereophonic record. Everything was new. And since Seaberg has been out, there's been no leaders in there. We're coming back and we're going to take over the leadership. Seaberg's compact disc jukebox is expected to hit the market next year. You know, I may be dating myself, but I remember 78s in stacks, and then when the 45s came in in kind of like a wreath arrangement, sure. and they were nickel apiece, nickel a play. Yeah, things have really changed since Seaberg made player pianos. Speaking of changes, coming up...